Hello everybody, welcome to Persephone's Temptations and this is Vlogmas Day 7. So welcome to Day 7 Vlogmas here on the channel. It's pretty late at night. <laughs> but um, just kind of wanted to update you with what's been going on ever since my last upload, which was Sunday. Definitely go check it out. It's a tutorial on how I make my devotion candle, which now I have some amazing smelling rooms because I, I made a lot of candles for that video. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to also update you guys on all of our Friday characters that we ended up getting because it's been a whole week now of opening our advent calendar with our girls and just everybody at home and then we have like our kitty cat cat kitty cat advent calendar and that has had a few cool things in it too. Oh yeah and by the way I changed my hair. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to show you guys I have them all set over here to the side. And spoiler warning if you don't have this yet, but Blacklight Freddy, which I'm sure we did show, along with little Ice Cream Chica from the Easter collection that they had. I don't know if anybody has seen those cool Easter collections that they have. They, I think they, you could still kind of find them in some Walmarts because that's where we found most of ours. <laughs> and we just keep seeing them pop up here and there. Our third one was one that we were really surprised by because it was Little Marionette. And this guy, like, it's really hard to find any plushies of them. At least that I've noticed, along with Baby and anybody from Sister's Location or the second game, are really hard to find. But we did find a little yellow foxy for our fourth day, I believe. Or was it Foxy the third time and then Marionette? The point is that they're the first seven. <laughs> and then I know for sure that this one came next. <laughs> and that was our black light Bonnie. So we were really excited to see Bonnie. And then the one that I was really hyped about was Peppermint Foxy. Look at his little cute eye patch. He's so cute. So today we actually got to open. <laughs> so today we ended up actually opening up the seventh one and that was Balloon Boy. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, maybe I don't focus this on my face. Ah, there we go. He's like a black light Balloon Boy too. He's, he's super cute, I love him. Okay, and then as the thumbnails shows, I got my official buckets. I don't know if I actually mentioned this before, but they came in. Anyway, but right now I'm just kind of cleaning up my area and I was like, hey, I should probably record a vlogmas and just kind of update you guys with what I've been up to. So I got to redo, reformulate my soap. And this is what it looks like right now. Got a little bit of soda ash, but I try to do like some vines to kind of represent Persephone a little bit better. So that's how I did that. And I'm excited to cut it. You can kind of see the color underneath. But that's that. I got this cute little small mold for my um, extra when I make soap. So I just kind of try to do a cursive Persephone name on there, which doesn't look all that great. I was trying something new. I'll probably try to look into more of soap calligraphy because that is actually an interest that I'm really looking into. So another thing I quickly wanted to update you guys is on how my um, horrible soap came out, which I think is the last thing I talked about in my last vlog. So I did the cutting today and I'm a little confused with how I feel about it. <laughs> if I'm being honest. So I will still wait for it to fully cure before I do the pH balance test just to ensure that everything is doing good. So the top, you can already see a lot of buildup of the soda ash because that's not the color that I put into the mica unless that's it curing, which that could possibly be it. But if you look at it closely, you can see like dusty looking. The sparkle is there. 
but as you, if you can see, I don't know if you can kind of see from this video, but I know that the other one is more noticeable. You could see the holes, and I think that's because of how thick it was when I was throwing it into the mold, and how like fast it accelerated, that it left like these little holes in the soap that it did not finish like processing its cure, I mean, where it just did not fill in completely, so it just left those. And then the colors didn't mash in correctly with the actual solution. So right there you can see like the pearly white that didn't get to actually become a part of that part of the soap. And the same thing happened with the pink where it's like all swirled because it didn't. It, it gives it a cool effect, that's for sure, but it didn't correctly formulate with it. And the top, especially, you can see like all the clumps. You could tell that it just was not behaving well. But that's how it looks so far. Um, it smells really good. <laughs> it's, it feels very hard. I don't see any gelling effect on it. So now I'm just gonna wait for them to fully, fully cure before I can run my pH balance test on them. And I will show you guys how to fix a problem like this without a crock pot because I don't have a crock pot. I don't have a crock pot, so I kind of have to get creative on a different level. <laughs> Plus with how little room I have, I don't really think I would have room for a crock pot on top of everything else. I had real front buckets. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but I, I'll give weekly updates, I guess, on how this one's doing. My Winter Wonderland soap is doing beautiful. Like, wow, I cannot wait till that is ready. So if you have followed that tutorial, you got some beautiful soaps coming your way, I'm telling you. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I think after I'm done with the filming on the other soap, I'm going to be processing a filming of a Hades soap or a Helio soap. So I guess like, we'll see. We'll see what we do next. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for joining my little vlogmas where I'm just chatting it up and having fun with you guys. So, um, keep an eye out for the next video. I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna drop it. Probably Thursday or Friday before the market on Saturday. I'm not sure if I'm gonna drop any video on Saturday. I might, depending on how the day goes but I will for sure be dropping the next tutorial on Sunday. Bye.